the postsynaptic cell can also perform temporal summation. In other words, it is the effects through time that synaptic knobs exert which can determine whether or not the postsynaptic cell goes to action potential. Here, for example, there is one presynaptic neuron which is very excited and is transmitting action potentials at a very rapid rate. An excited neuron which transmits very frequent action potentials can have a greater effect uh, than others which are now performing simply background noise and only firing occasionally. And so therefore the postsynaptic neuron pays attention to how frequently the uh, action potentials from the presynaptic neurons are coming in. In other words, it performs temporal summation. And this is because excited neurons can therefore have a greater effect.